Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 63. So today we're continuing our training inside of the Command for Teams, and we're going to look at smart plans. One thing I wanted to bring up, we're going to transition over to our team account here by clicking on our drop down and choosing team. Then we're going to go into our contacts. And we we moved Bart Simpson over, if you'll remember our fictional character here last time. But I did want to, again, call out the assignee ability here. Um, in this pro coach team account, we only have one member on the team, so we can't assign it to anyone else. And yet, if you are on a team and have multiple team members, one of the things that we can do is come down and change the assignee. So that's important when we go into smart plans because with smart plans, each step can be assignable to either the rainmaker or the contact assignee. In our case, that's the same person on every contact. But in most cases, you might have a rainmaker and then the assignee could be another listing agent on the team, another buyer's agent on the team, just another agent on the team in general. Um, so it's this contact assignee line that we really want to pay attention to. So let's dive into smart plans. That'll make a little more sense as we start to build these out. The other thing to take note of, and we've talked about this multiple times with contacts, with opportunities, the same holds true with smart plans. Smart plans for teams are separate from your smart plans for solo. So when I have two accounts, I have my personal account, I have my team account, any smart plan that I make in the personal account stays in the personal account and only personal contacts can be added to it. On the flip side, my team smart plans are only on my team account and can only be applied to team contacts. So just some nuance there to make sure that we are clear. You've got two accounts, team versus personal. You've got two sets of smart plans. So when we come in to create a team smart plan, right, the process is very similar, but we're going to go ahead and do, so this is our 66 day challenge 9.0 demo smart plan. We're going to create that plan. So this screen doesn't look much different than the smart plan screen we showed you way back when, when we were showing personal smart plans, but I'm going to go ahead and start off by creating a task. Now the task model, modal, excuse me, over here on the right hand side looks almost identical except for this one little section here, this assign to section. So you can see it says assign to designated agent, which in this case is the contact assignee. This is a default setting that you can put inside of your settings menu. So if we click here in the settings menu, we're gonna get taken to our team settings this is underneath command settings and then smart plans and then designated agents. So you can set a default for each one of these steps. Hey, when I'm putting a task in a smart plan, do I want that to be by default assigned to the rainmaker or the contact assignee? When I'm adding an email to a team smart plan, do I want that to come from the rainmaker or the contact assignee? And when I'm adding a text-based step, do I want that text to come from the Rainmaker or the contact assignee? You can see right now, I've got all three of those set to contact assignee. If we save the changes, we go back to our smart plan. We can see that it says assign to designated agent. Just know that designated agent is whatever setting you designated inside of the settings menu. That verbiage can be a little misleading. Um, that doesn't really reference anyone in particular. It just references whoever you chose. Now, let's say we wanted to change that. This first task needs to come from the Rainmaker. Every other task can come from a contact assignee. All I have to do is uncheck this box, and then I can change this to Rainmaker, right? So then we can come in and our task, right, just so we can get it to set. We're going to put test and test and add the step. Now, let's say the next step might be to make a call. So we're gonna drop in that actual step. Same setup, task name, description, hyperlink, etc. And again, then we've got the assign to section. And you can see by default, because we set it up this way, calls, just like tasks, emails, texts, are going to be assigned to the designated agent, which is the contact assignee in this case. If I wanna change it, again, uncheck, 
change that to Rainmaker. And the opposite would be true. If your designated agent and your settings menu is the Rainmaker and you wanted it to be the contact assignee, just uncheck and change the dropdown. This is a little bit redundant, but I just want to make sure that we see the same would be email, right? So we scroll down, send from the designated agent. And in this case, that would be the contact assignee. If I wanted it to come from the Rainmaker, I could make the change. If we do a text, right? Same scenario, we're gonna drop in that text and here you go. Who's the text coming from? It's coming from your designated agent. Who did I designate? I designated the contact assignee. I wanna change that. Check, drop down Rainmaker, and now we can change that step. So if I don't make any changes to any of these, it's gonna be my default designated agent, which is whatever I set up in the settings menu. All right, so now this is a team-based smart plan. I can save this plan and it's now going to show up in our list of smart plans for the team. And here it is. When I go to add contacts to that smart plan, you're going to see I only get three of our fictional characters. And that's because these are the only three contacts or fictional characters we have in our team account. One nuance here, I've got a really great personal smart plan. It's 27 steps long. I don't want to have to recreate all 27 steps inside of the team smart plans because it exists in my personal smart plans. Well, remember, we talked about the library. One sort of workaround there is basically to go into your personal account. We're going to find that smart plan, right? And we're going to click on the three dots and we're going to publish it to the library. So this is just me publishing this smart plan really just for my own personal use. I'm going to go ahead and publish it. I'm going to put in the description for Marty Miller personal use, right? You can put in whatever you want the, the description to be. And then I'm going to publish the smart plan. So now it's in the library. There is no restriction on the library to which account you download the smart plan to. So now I can go to my team account. I can go into the library. I can go search for that plan since I just uploaded it. I know it's going to be in the what's new section and I can add this smart plan. It says, hey, this is a bundled smart plan. It contains multiple plans. You wanna download all of it? Yep, we wanna download that one. And then we wanna download this one. And all right, there we go. Now, if we go to smart plans, here is that team smart plan. Now, it's just really important that you realize that any of these steps are gonna be tied to our default, right? So when we look up this create task step, it's going to be assigned to our designated agent, right? Same thing with the call step, right? It's going to be assigned to our designated agent. In that case, it's contact assignee on each one of these. So if for any reason you really like this plan, but you wanted some of the steps to come from the Rainmaker and some of them to come from contact assignee, you are gonna to have to come in and make some changes to the steps. Right, so just kind of a heads up. And as always, with all smart plans, my recommendation is that you add yourself to the smart plan. So you would have to create yourself as a team contact and then add yourself to the plan, get it tested, make sure it looks good, and then go from there because there's probably still a little bit of nuance, contact personal versus team contact, smart plan personal versus smart plan team as well. So that's it for today, guys. Team smart plans. Really the smart plan settings for who's your designated agent, smart plans for teams only used for uh, team contacts and vice versa. Uh, but just a little bit of nuance there available and how to do that workaround if you do wanna share something from the personal smart plans to your team smart plans, publish it to the library and then download it to your team account from there. That's it for today. As always guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.